You are watching Wonder Lucia. The Isle of Man, a place where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs. Beneath its serene landscapes and quaint villages lies a hidden world. The Isle of Man, situated in the Irish Sea between Ireland and Great Britain, boasts a history as rich and diverse as its dramatic landscapes. This small, self-governing crown dependency has been inhabited for thousands of years, with evidence of Neolithic and Viking settlements dating back to ancient times. In the early medieval period, it became a Viking stronghold known as Man, or Man Inn. Over the centuries, the island's ownership shifted between various rulers, including the Norse, the Scottish, and the English crown. In 1405, it was bestowed upon Sir John Stanley, whose family governed the island for nearly three centuries. The Isle of Man's unique status as a self-governing territory was cemented in the 19th century when it was officially recognised as a British Crown dependency, where it has its own government and legal system. While it has a close relationship with the UK, including the British Crown, the Isle of Man has its own parliament, known as the Tynewald, and has a high degree of autonomy in many areas such as taxation and domestic affairs. It is considered a separate entity from the UK and has its own unique status in terms of governance and administration. The Isle of Man's charm extends to its unique and sometimes unusual laws which reflect its distinct character. For instance, it's illegal to kill a hedgehog, as they are a protected species. Additionally, the island's famous Manx cats, known for their taillessness, hold a special status. They are considered a national treasure, and it's illegal to export them. The Isle of Man's speed limits are measured in miles per hour, but displayed in kilometers per hour, adding a touch of quirkiness to the road signs. Its open road policy, where many rural roads don't have speed limits, is a road tripper's dream. These intriguing laws add to the Isle of Man's appeal, showcasing its commitment to preserving its natural environment and retaining its unique identity. The island's healthcare system relies on a national health service modelled after the one in the United Kingdom. However, it is independently funded and managed within the Isle of Man. You can't go wrong if you love avoiding tax. The Isle of Man is often considered a tax haven due to its low tax rates and favourable tax policies. It has attracted individuals and businesses looking to benefit from its tax-avoiding environment. The Isle of Man offers advantages such as no capital gains tax, no inheritance tax, and a relatively low corporate tax rate. However, it's essential to note that tax laws and regulations can change, and tax authorities in various countries are vigilant about combating tax evasion and ensuring compliance with international tax standards. The best time to visit the Isle of Man largely depends on your preferences and what you want to experience. The summer months from June to August are the most popular for tourists, offering pleasant weather with average highs in the mid-teens to low 20 degrees Celsius. This is the ideal time for outdoor activities, beach visits and enjoying the island's festivals and events. However, if you prefer a quieter atmosphere and lower accommodation prices, consider visiting during the shoulder seasons of spring April to May or autumn September to October. These months still offer relatively mild weather for exploration, but with fewer crowds. Keep in mind that the Isle of Man can be quite rainy, so packing waterproof clothing is advisable regardless of when you visit. Before travelling to the Isle of Man, there are several important things to know. One, currency. The currency used on the Isle of Man is the Manx Pound, which is at par with the British Pound. Both currencies are widely accepted on the island. Two, passport and visa. Depending on your nationality, you may need a passport to enter the Isle of Man. Check the visa requirements and entry regulations that apply to your country. 3. Weather The weather on the Isle of Man can be unpredictable. Be prepared for rain and cooler temperatures even in the summer months. It's a good idea to bring layers and waterproof clothing. 4. Transportation the Isle of Man has an efficient public transportation system, including buses and heritage railways, making it easy to get around. You can also rent a car or bicycle to explore the island at your own pace. 5. Accommodation Book your accommodation in advance, especially during the peak tourist season, as the island can get busy. There are various options from hotels and guest houses to self-catering cottages. 6. Language English is the official language of the Isle of Man, and Manx Gaelic is also spoken by some residents. However, English is widely understood and used for communication. 7. Time Zone The Isle of Man is in the Greenwich Mean Time, 
GMT zone during the winter months and British summertime, GMT plus one during the summer months when daylight saving time is in effect. Eight, island etiquette. The Isle of Man is known for its friendly and welcoming residents. It's customary to greet people with a polite hello or good morning. Tipping in restaurants and bars is appreciated but not always mandatory. Nine, safety. The Isle of Man is generally considered a safe destination. However, like any other place, it's essential to take standard precautions regarding your belongings and personal safety. 10. Cultural respect. Respect local customs and traditions, especially in religious or sacred sites. Photography may not be allowed in some areas, so always ask for permission. 11. Emergency numbers. Familiarize yourself with local emergency numbers such as 999 or 112, which can be dialed for police, fire and medical emergencies. The Isle of Man hosts a variety of events and festivals throughout the year, celebrating its culture, heritage, and community spirit. While specific events may change from year to year, here are some recurring and notable events on the Isle of Man. One, Isle of Man TT Races. The Isle of Man TT is one of the most famous motorcycle racing events in the world. It takes place annually in late May and early June, drawing motorcycle enthusiasts and racers from around the globe. Two, Manx Music Festival. Known as the Guild, this music festival features competitions in vocal, instrumental, and choral performances. It's a celebration of music and talent held in April and May. Three, Isle of Man Food and Drink Festival. This event showcases the island's culinary delights with local producers and chefs offering tastings and demonstrations. It usually takes place in September. Four, in Krunyak, the gathering. In Krunyak is a festival celebrating Manx culture, including music, dance, and language. It typically occurs in July. Five, Rally Isle of Man. Motorsport fans can enjoy the Rally Isle of Man, a thrilling car rally that takes place in September. Six, Tinwald Day, celebrated on July 5th. Tinwald Day is the Isle of Man's national day. It includes an open air parliamentary session and various cultural and community events. 7. Castletown Festival, held in Castletown, the ancient capital of the island. This festival features historical reenactments, music, and family friendly activities. 8. Isle of Man Film Festival. Film enthusiasts can enjoy this annual event showcasing local and international films. 9. Peel Day. The town of Peel hosts a lively day of music, food and family activities, often featuring a traditional Viking longship. 10. Isle of Man Arts Festival. This event celebrates the island's artistic talents, including visual arts, literature and performances. As we conclude the Isle of Man, we are left with a sense of awe and wonder. This remarkable self-governing crown dependency offers a unique blend of stunning natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture. From the rugged coastal cliffs and beaches to the ancient castles and heritage railways, the Isle of Man leaves an indelible mark on all who visit.